So hello everybody at Lakeside Audio. I just want to give you a short introduction to the new Launchpad view in Vocal Beats. So um, here you can see the basic uh, yeah, expert mode or create mode. Um, you notice already we have several tutorials how to use this mode here. So the new Launchpad mode can be activated by um, hitting this icon here. And now you have this pad view, which you maybe know from other applications. Um, I will just show you what you can do here. So what you see here in this um, screen um, is an overview of all the tracks you have in Vocal Beats. So each track um, has a yeah, pad here and you can do several things in this view with your tracks. Um, I think it's best just to start with a simple example. All these um, tracks are configured in tape mode per default. So as you know, uh, Vocal Beats has different um, track modes. So in tape mode, um, tape mode means you have simple audio tracks. So just let me show you. I will um, record um, some clap sound. So what you see, uh, Vocal Beats will record automatically on the first track. Um, you can also see here in this first um, uh, view, that is the song navigator, you can see what I have recorded. So let's just play back. Yeah, so um, you see this here in, in this view. Um, I have the song position pointer here. I can move it around and uh, you will notice um, in the simple, uh, in the little pad uh, view here, you can also see um, the position uh, where the track playback is at the moment. So in tape mode, the pads have, uh, yeah, only one function you can control which um, track will be captured. So when you see, I'm selecting here um, the track where I will record something on. So yeah, I will show you that. I will record something on the next track. So just let's start record. Um, you will hear the first track, but it can overdub and um, yeah, record something else there. So let's just see. One, two, three, four. So that was it. Let's listen. One, two, three, four. Now you can edit your song. So the the pads itself, uh, as I said, have a uh, yeah only uh, only that function to um, yeah control the capture track in this mode. But now you can track uh, edit the whole track. Um, I can select regions um, in the song navigator. And um, the grid here is one bar. So um, you always select one bar. And now I've selected the first bar. And now I can cut the first bar out. I'm uh, just entering here um, this icon. When I push this here, a little menu goes up and I can cut it out. So what you see, I have just um, yeah cut the first bar. And with the same functionality, I can repeat this pattern. Um, to do this, you have to enable um, the loop mode. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And I wanna, if I want to copy that pattern um, again, I just place my song position pointer here, go in this menu, and I can um, use this copy icon. Um, so. Um, You've seen the cut functionality, the copy functionality. Vocal Beats even has an undo function, so that is very important. And you have this sweep functionality where you can zero regions. So, um, yes. So that um, are the really basic concepts. And if you want to do more, we have to look at this icon here. So that is the track selection icon. I can also um, select tracks and configure the setting of each track. So what I can do now, 
I can um, select a specific track and when I do this, you will see that the view um, here will change. So the selected track has its color and all other tracks are grayed out in the background. And now when I want to edit something here, I will only add the respective track. So let's just listen to the um, whole recording again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I can select a region here and I'm only editing track two. That is my voice recording. And uh, when I enter this menu here, now I could, ex for example, zero this region. So I do this and now what we've got, the, the claps are still there. One, two, three, four. But my voice was um, zeroed out. So that is the basic concept of selecting tracks here with this track selection icon. So if you want to apply a function to the whole and to all tracks uh, together, just deselect all tracks. So you see this that no um, track is has, a, has this blue frame around um, and then you can cut and copy the whole song. But um, this track selection function has uh, yeah, additional uh, functions here. Um, when I select a track, I can um, yeah, add some effects to this track. So track two was my voice. I can add some reverb, for example. Here I enter the third icon on uh, the top here. I can um, add some reverb. Let's just listen. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. So maybe have a look at that yourself. So uh, you have different functions here. The verb you have seen just. Um, you can um, set the pitch tune. You even have an auto tune functionality here. Um, you have a really nice vocoder functionality in here. Um, you can try that. So that uh, was the, the basic functionality, but there is much, much more. So maybe when you see this, you think about uh, sampling pads and sampler. And yes, indeed, a vocal beats uh, has all this sampling stuff, you know, from other applications. So I will um, start with a new project and show you how you can use this one. So now um, everything is empty again. I will record something on the first track. Hey! So just a little sample. It's still in tape mode. I can do playback. Hey! So you have seen that already. So now what I can do. I have already selected track one. So that is the blue frame around. And now I can switch it from tape to pattern mode. Yeah, you see this here. And when I do this, Vocal Beats asks me if it should trim the silence at the end beginning and at the end of my recording and I say yes and now you have um, uh, you can see it already here in this little picture that the recording is moved to the beginning and so yeah let's try it hey 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 so that's it and now you have all the functions again here what what you want to do so maybe you want to add um, some reverb here again hey so it's no 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 problem okay so now let's go on and use the second track i will record something on the second track um so let's just see go let's do some go and i will switch this track to pattern mode as well so now what we have hey go yes and um maybe let's add some reverb here too that we have the same sound hey go hey go hey go go and now what you can do of course and with that yeah you can record a pattern yeah so when you are in in tape mode you will record vocals and longer sequences longer audio tracks when you are in pattern mode um yeah you can record pattern um, let me just show you hey go 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 hey go go yes so let's just listen to that once again. Hey, go, 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 hey, go, go, go. In this um, pattern mode, you still have all the editing functions. You can cut out um, 
passages and so on. So there's a really great, great speciality here. Um, as you know, Vocal Beats has tons of samples uh, coming with. Um, when you start with a new track, which is empty, and you do not record something in tape mode, uh, Vocal Beats will use its internal samples for that pattern. So just um, leave this track empty, go to pattern mode, and you can see here that it will switch to an internal sound that is a bass drum kick. Yeah, you can select another bass drum kick sound. So uh, Vocal Beats has over 3000 sounds there. Um, so let me just show you. We, we take another track, um, I switch it to pattern mode, and I will use maybe some rims here again. Yes, and you can record that as well. So that is maybe a very important uh, information for you. You can edit your patterns in detail when you go back to this um, mode here. Um, you can see what you have recorded. You can edit it and you can, can move it around. So maybe um, I can do some uh, recording at the beginning with this kick sound. So you can see that again, um, how, how this will work. Yes, so I have three kicks there. When I go back in this mode, you can see the three kicks here and you can edit this. So you can um, remove uh, something, you can move it around. So here you have the detailed step sequencer view if you want to edit what you have just recorded. Okay, so um, that was the basic, that is the basic idea of the, the pattern mode. And now what I want to show you is the MIDI mode of the um, of the pads, you can also play melodies. Yeah. So, um, maybe let's start, um, with a new project there and let's have a look what we can do with the MIDI mode. Um, let's start again with track one. I will record, um, um something and I will play a melody with that. So let's just show. La. No, so I have this nice sound there. And now I can switch this track to MIDI mode. When I switch it to MIDI mode, I also can select um, the trim function. And now la, la, la. I can play melodies there. So, and now I have some further very nice functions there. Um, so first of all, what I always like, placing some reverb. La. So um, that is good. So you may notice when you use this. So uh, when you play notes with lower pitches, they are longer and high notes are shorter. Uh, Vocal Beats has a very sophisticated time stretching functionality. You can um, yeah, modify this by um, selecting uh, yeah this um, settings button here where you have the reverb you have already seen that so here you can also um, set up the time stretching um, mode so now when I use this arrow here, double arrow here that means preserve the sample length so let me show you no. that is the length no. has the same length regardless of the pitch. Um, so what we can uh, also do, um, you notice this uh, Mickey Mouse sound. So if you like that, yeah, you can use it. But if you want it to sound more natural, you can switch on the so-called formant correction. Um, you cannot do this here in the launchpad view. You have to switch over to um, the expert view. Um, you can enter... Um, the track settings and here you can activate uh, this um, formant correction so i will activate it here go back here and la, la, la. so now it sounds more natural so maybe just to mention uh, in this midi mode you can also uh, record your notes um, as well so maybe uh, i will close with that so let's have a look at that
So okay, as in you can see, you can record this and uh, combine um, yeah, the MIDI mode with tape mode, vocal recordings with the pattern recordings, um, drum sets, and so on. Yes. So um, that was just a very very short overview of the um, launchpad mode. Um, As you may notice, that is not a really professional tutorial. We are looking for people who want to do tutorials for us. So please contact us. We will pay for it if you want to make a tutorial. Uh, that would be nice. Um, so if you found it interesting, what you, we can, what you can do here, just contact us. We can tell you much more about it. Um, I would say in this few minutes, I have shown you about 10 percent of all the functionality what you can do here it's just for uh, starters and um yeah so i guess uh, we would need some further tutorials and we need you to help us there so many thanks for watching um please contact us and have fun with vocal beats